Hi, and welcome to Restored by Polish, where we talk about how Polish helps us with our overall mental and physical well-being. I'm Krista. I'm Jacqueline. Uh, we're going to do my last little recent haul. Uh, yes, she's buying more Polish. Although... We wouldn't have content if you didn't buy Polish. As we're, that's true. It works. That's right. Was, <laughs> and that's usually the excuse I use when I'm buying... You need content, content for the videos. Yes. <laughs> um, but as we're filming this for the second time, this intro, um, I actually have a whole other set of haul new Polish. It's coming? <laughs> that, or no, here. here. Oh! That we haven't done yet. Oh. So. Well, we have more content. There yes, we go. Exactly. And we need to do our PPU video, too. Yes. And we have actually quite a few that we need to yeah. done. We and some, some, time to film, so. some uh, Topic Tuesdays, too? Also? Yeah, probably. Yeah, All probably. of the above. Yes, exactly. <laughs> well, in this one, we're going to be looking at um, some, a really late haul. I actually purchased from Potion Polish quite a while ago, like over the summer. Oh, wow. And I just kept forgetting to haul it with you guys. Oh, so, um, okay. I just bought a couple of them. Because she can't keep track of them. What she has. Well, I can't keep track of where they are. Or I keep, what's new. And yeah, I, I don't know. It's, I'm, I, I need a whole reorg, as I've said before, of oh my, my polish goodness. system. So, uh, which we're going to talk about because we've got a collab video coming oh, up. Oh, on how you store it. Not just how you store it, but um, cool. kind of a fun one. I haven't really filled you in completely on the details. So okay. Be on the lookout for that. In fact, I think some of the newest videos on that new collab video will be coming out pretty soon here. So you'll be hearing nice. people talking about it. Started cool. by Amanda, the nail polish shop. Nice. Um, so, but anyway, so we're going to be doing potion polish. I did get my uh, polish pickup, my most recent polish pickup, um, and then a couple of miscellaneous ones I picked up um, here and there. When you're out shopping? Yes. Because that's what you do. One I love, and one was awful. It's not good. So, no, yeah, it was terrible. Honestly, terrible. So, let's um, see All right. Bye. Yay! All right, so I bought these so long ago, um, and we just haven't had a chance to haul them. So this is Potion Polish. Um, it's across time. It's one of our newer ones that she uh, came out with, and that shimmer got me. It just definitely got me. It's kind of like a mm, blue teal base. Um, looks a little bit green when you see it swatched, and then um, it has that shimmer, that beautiful like magenta shimmer going through it. Oh my goodness! I can't even get the bottle open. Goodness. All right, so let's see what we got here. A blue teal, I guess you could say, for that base. That's pretty. Yeah, I want to see what it looks like on the second coat, but it, um, I love it. I think it's so, so pretty. Yeah, pretty. I love this watches. I'm actually sort of shocked at the base color. I was thinking it was going to be a little Darker? more green. No, more green than blue. Oh. But you know what? Let's I'll hold off until we see the second coat. But um, okay. And I'm already opening this one up. <laughs> okay. So, and the other one I got from Potion Polish is English Lass. Um, this is, I think, from the Outlander, kind of her Outlander series. It is nothing like unique. I mean, it's just a aqua blue base with the ultra chrome flakies in it. But for whatever reason, I'm a sucker for these, especially springtime. I love spring colors. I know a lot of people don't, but I love it. And look at look at that one coat. Look at all those flakies in one coat. I think, um, yeah, Push and Polish is underrated. I think we've talked about it before. It's the most underrated brand for me. So yeah, I really, really, really love that. Okay, and um, then I did, um, oh, I have my PPU, so let's talk about those. Um, this was from um, from November's PPU. I did this one at the last second. This is from Alchemy Lacquers. It's called Dungeon. Um, look at that. Isn't that awesome? Okay. It's almost like a, I don't know, let's, let's swatch it so I can see what the base color is, because I'm not really even sure what, oh, it's one of those. That's why I liked it. This reminds me of what Bees Knees Lacquer does where it's kind of like a sheer, you know, base, but it's got all those little chrome, little tiny micro flakies yeah. in there. Oh, so pretty. And it is it is basically like a magenta-y pink base, but it's super sheer. Oh, do you like that? It's pink, I know, I, sorry. I, I, sort of? It's sort of, it's reddish I mean, pink. Let's I, see what it looks like it, on the yeah, second coat. It's not, it's not super pink. And then the other one I got was this one from Garden Path That's Lacquers. Really pretty. Look at that. This is called That's electric blue. Right? I will create the perfect system. Um yeah. What what can you even say about that? I mean, look at the magenta. Can you see I, from my angle I see yeah, so beautiful. much like magenta in there. It's just so that's crazy, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, it's beautiful. I love it. This is going to be... What's sad is like it, I feel like it's a summer color, but I want to wear it now. I'm going to make this into something for the winter. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be... 
I'm gonna make you it in there. You could put it over like a, a blue and do like a frozen. Oh, that's true. Like a, or I could do, um, you know, for like amethyst for February, right? Cause it's got the purple in there. Oh gosh, that is so pretty. I love it. All right, and then I did uh, one quick order from Amazon. I had this on my wish list for a long time, um, which is, um, it's called, is it Love or Luster? It was, they did like a metallic holographic line um, a while ago, I think, and I've slowly been picking up a few here and there. Not their nice brush on this one though. And it's pink. And it's pink. Yes. And it's pink. Oh, sorry, and here we go again. And Chris is hitting that. Yes, yeah, so we gotta fix that. That arm is just hanging down over there. We need better from that. Yeah. So um, that kind of, the skinny brush made it run a little bit down there. So. Um, no, nope, not a fan. No, it's it's kind of a mauve color, right? Yes. It's a little bit purpley, but mm, hold up. I'm going to hold off judgment. Okay. Till second coats. All right. And then the last one. Oh, look, Jacqueline's your favorite color. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> this is from Simple Colors. It is Wine Knot. It's pretty new because it, it was out on their new collection here. Um, kind of just a, like a magenta um metallic i guess yeah. simple colors always has thin brushes but they're so cheap that i don't blame them you know the brushes are not cheap they're no. nice brushes well this what i'm saying is that they're yeah, so that, inexpensive that, that, right that's what i mean look they at have that have one coat more. yeah pretty right actually i like that one yeah because it's it's pretty dark it's, it's jewel toned it's really jewel toned yeah let's see what it looks like on the second coat so we'll come back all right we're back yay all right so my two potion polishes this one is across time and this one is english last what do you think i like it they're both I, I think they're both beautiful and i'm loving the alchemy lockers dungeon too i pink. oh i just think it's so pretty but even if you think it's too pink and you have this one put it over something put yeah. it over something that you're it in a darker kind of red. a little bit of a Maybe a little tiny bit of orangey. Yeah, for flash. sure. I would. I think that would be gorgeous over orange. That would be really pretty. I. Love, this is my favorite out of all of these. Really? The garden path. Yeah. I, garden path lacquers. I will create the perfect system. Yeah. It's pretty. It's gorgeous. Garden path lacquers does a those kind of polishes that finish really well. I think I hate this. I don't like it. Yeah, I don't like it. I think I'm going to be desashing it. Is it Lover Luster from Color Club? I've never desashed. That one I well, is going into a de-stash pile. I can I can tell just by looking at it now, it's gonna look awful on me. I don't like the finish. It's kind of pearly, I don't know. I don't like it at all. So I didn't pay a lot for it. I think I paid like four bucks on Amazon, so oh, whatever, but I don't like it. God. Maybe it's just gonna be given away. There you go. <laughs> all right, and um, this one is from Simple Colors. I love that. Uh, it's beautiful. It's really beautiful. Simple Colors has been coming up with some good ones lately. Why not? That's really yeah, the, the, the like, the like uh, shimmer, it's not really a shimmer, but it's the no. metallic -y. It's yeah, silver. It's, it's got like a silver, like a silver shimmer going through it. Has through it has such a three dimensional. Yeah, exactly. It's very, the depth in it. It has yeah, a really, it looks really like beautiful. a pond, like yeah, a glass. It's beautiful in there. It's that one's beautiful. pretty. All right, what do you guys think of these? Do you have any of them? Um, have you worn them? Let me know. I'd love to know what your thoughts are. Please leave it in the comments below. Please like and subscribe. We'll see you in our next video. Bye. Bye.